Yeah, I mean, I got to look at it. Um, we didn't get a foul the whole fourth quarter, so we can't expect to get one there. That's what happened. No, I mean that's that's what they they have when they play without Halliburton. They just you know they they bully drive to the basket and you know everybody comes to the glass. You know so, um, you know we got a board better than we did, but we forced a lot of misses. Um, we had a lineup out there that we believe in. You know that, quite frankly, with the way they were double teaming and kamikazeing the game on the other end, usually we blow that team out out of the gym. You know, but um, we just didn't capitalize on those double teams the way we normally do, or we'd be walking out here with a W. Yeah, he's just a spectacular player, you know. Um, you know, I think he should have been voted to be an all-star starter, personally. Um, I think the whole world can see that. And, you know, he'll be in that game, you know, when the coaches vote. But uh, what a special performance. Do you, how do you view it knowing that, okay, that's enough points to win a game? But then to have it maybe come down to the last play uh, when you don't get fouled in the fourth quarter, how do you explain Yeah, you got, you got to guard and you got to keep scoring. You know, and he scored 17 in the fourth. Got some great looks. Bradley Beal's out there trying to play with probably a broken nose, you know, toughing it out. I mean, credit to him for uh, just being on the floor. Um, you know, but uh, we weren't able to capitalize on a lot of the double teams. And that's just, you know, that's something that I, I believe with that lineup, you know, the way they were double teaming us, we're going to blow, blow that team out of the gym in most nights. It just didn't happen tonight. Yeah, I mean, we'll see how they respond, you know, tomorrow. And um, but yeah, concern. Do you know if it's a broken nose still or not? I don't know that yet. Could be though. Yeah, I mean, when we didn't turn it over, we had a couple chaotic possessions. But you know, we got I think there was three three laps that we missed and a couple open threes. You know, so like, like I said, with that lineup, uh, I'll take those looks. No, our guys battled. We battled on the defense. This team beat Philly by 30 last night, or was up by 30 last night. I mean, this, this is a very difficult team to, to guard, number one offense in the league, and I was proud of how our guys battled. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, that's where a little bit more of the contact was, but, you know, that late in the game, you know, you can't be looking for anything. Usually the refs let, let that play out. Uh, I mean, just making shots, um, taking the shots I've been taking all season, um, just being confident in them. And, you know, I always say these guys set screens and getting the ball to me on time, on target. Um, you know, it's just opened everything up for me. Looking at the, you know, the crowd guys, Upset, they felt like the elbow. Mm -hmm. Maybe take you through that from your end, and that's not what you were intending to do. You just trying to make a. a yeah, it wasn't trying to be there. vicious. Uh, we talked about it after, so um, yeah. Did you think that it was going to turn into that kind of reaction, and did you feed off of that? Um, what kind of reaction? Because the bull and the, the bull went up to another another ball. You I heard a lot of Kentucky fans in there, so you know my big Blue Nation faithfuls here. Um, so there's a lot of love, a lot of number one jerseys in the stands, and it's always like that here. And you know, I think it will be for life. So, um, you know, shout out to all those people that made the drive from from Lexington or any part of Kentucky that you know I've been watching my career from from the beginning. It can be easily read into this that you wanted to make a statement tonight back here in where the All Star Game is going to be. And Coach talked about you should be a starter. Does that play any role in what happened? Mm -mm. Okay. <clears throat> We've been seeing a myriad of defenses, especially over the last couple of games, we've been getting a lot of buckets. Mm -hmm. I was wondering just what kind of goes through your thought process of the score as far as, far as your reads and you finding the pull up pockets with the many different defenses you see? Yeah, um, just slowing down, um, working on my breath, and you know, there's a lot going on. and. You know, usually when I'm at my best, everything feels slower than normal. So, um, just trying to take what the defense gives me and 
you know, still not, you know, trying to play force it to me basketball. Still try to make the right plays, and you know, I think down the stretch we had, you know, a lot of open looks that that we missed, and you know, a few missed block outs that cost us the game. But other than that, we played played well through three quarters. And then, how do you feel about just where the team is headed, especially with having health now in the offense, yeah. half court, just the pace and the tempo and cadence with everything that you guys are running? Yeah, I think it's clicking. Um, we obviously have some things to figure out. I'd say more on the defense end than anything. Um, but, you know, once we get that together, um, we'll be in good shape. You know, we've been on a little streak, just ended, but, you know, we've been playing some pretty good basketball. Then when you see Brad gutting it out, yeah. taking that shot, oh, yeah. it's tough. Uh, I mean, I don't know if his nose is broke, but I knew he took a, a tough shot. Uh, I've been in that situation. I did it in the playoffs. <laughs> And I told him that's the only reason I came back in the game was because it was the playoffs. <laughs> um, so he's better than me. Um, but, you know, I hope he feels better, gets healthy. I'm sure this flight won't be easy. Indiana, the way they play, it, it, yeah. it, it's a challenge to stay out of that frenetic back four, back four, back four. Yeah, you heard me talking about that. I mean, it's just that's how they play, man. They play fast. Um, they might give up some easy buckets, but, you know, they're trying to get easy ones on the other end. So, um just trying not to get caught up in that in that style of basketball. They're used to it. That's not the way that you know we play every night. But I think we can learn a few things and you know see the easy looks that you get when you're playing with that tempo and that pace. And the coach was saying that he felt like in a normal situation you guys blow a team out like that because the way they were committing and leaving guys open. Did you, after the game over, you like that should have happened? Okay. Yeah. Like I said, um, we got a lot of good looks, especially when we went to five guard lineup and. Um, a lot of wide open corner threes and, you know, catching them in rotation. We just missed a few and then, you know, gave up a few offensive rebounds. Do you feel like the missed shots really just kind of played into the defense and the specifically in the closing quarters of the game? Um, or you just feel like it was more so kind of rebounding than anything else? I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, I trust these guys. Um, we have another game in a day or two and, you know, I'm sure those same shots will go down.